All right, so we're going to update uh, vCenter here to the latest version, and it looks like there's a new way to do it within vCenter now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it this way. I'm actually not going to. We're going to actually walk through it the regular old-fashioned way through port 5480 on the vCenter server itself, but there is a new way in version 8 here. And I'm just going to use tried and true for now because it looks like there's a known issue. Uh, so I'm going to skip this for now. It looks like you mount the ISO. Anyway, you look through that article if you want to see more. But here in 5480, port 5480 on the vCenter server, go to the update tab. You can uh, stage only, which copies the files up where you can stage and install. First thing I do is run the pre update checks here. When you go to stage and install, it'll run this too, but I like to do this separate. And, uh, you know, just in case there's any issues, I like to catch them before, before running the update. So you can see what version you're on, <coughs> on the current version, and then the version you're going to upgrade to right here. Where it's running the pre-check. Uh, be sure to do a backup too, right down there on the lower left, because it'll want you to do that when you get through the inst when you start to do the install. And this results is a warning. Uh, it says my backup has already been taken, which I already did, but this LVM snapshot is new uh, to me. This warning, so I'm going to look this up. All right, so this LVM snapshot is just a warning and I found a workaround for it if we need it, but I don't really need it because I have taken a snapshot and I have a backup. So to take a snapshot of your vCenter server, if you don't know how, you just go to the host that it's on, log into the host, and you can run a snapshot that way. So I do a snapshot with memory and without memory because I've been told by different technicians that, you know, it should be done one way, and somebody else tells me it should be done a different way. So here we're going to run through the update here and accept the user agreement, and it's going to redo the pre-check here. <coughs> so we'll see the same thing again. Give us a second. Should come back any minute now. There we go. Same warnings, so I'm going to ignore and continue. And I'm not going to join the program. And yes, I've taken a backup. And here we go. Now I am going to speed up this process, which took me about an extra 30 minutes probably. Maybe, nah, 20. 20, we'll say 20. Once uh, it's succeeded, we can close this out here. 
And you can see uptime is three minutes. Get your new version, your new build number. And everything looks good. It puts it through a reboot after the install. Um, you go back to the update tab and you can go to the history and you can see all your updates that you've done, when you've done them and when they were released. And that's it. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.